Ja, jeg sitter der i en stor lenge steinstompe. Ok, en nice package. Med en knife. Steinstompe. Så jeg først bare at holde i så vi hooker opp det. Og så vil jeg have to back it to the van and do the van part. So yeah, let's get going. I'll first unbox it. Here he's all unboxed. It's all packaged very neatly. I'll shrink that. Here's the uh, bracket that goes on the back of your turbo. The sleeves. Your actual um, uh, goes on the back of the car. Has the little mud guards. And then this is new. I didn't see this in other people's videos. So brake cable foam. So I assume it probably goes on your cables in the caravan, but we'll see in the instructions. And then the uh, actual stone stomper. And uh, nice instruction booklet. Okay, so I unboxed that one now and the uh, bracket here. So it took a little while, but I must say it's packaged really well. <laughs> um, lots of shrink wrap. Um, here's a little instruction manual. So Print it out for you as well as you know it. Um, so the first step is just to install the bar. So just be, be aware that a lot of the newer cars, the tow bar is pretty much like bang on, so you don't have this 80mm space. I'm um, sorry, I had to change the uh, tow hitch. So if you want to know what tow hitch I bought for the Amarok, just let me know. I can, um, you know, put that in the comments on the links, but uh, I think that's just a tow master or something, uh, tow each that I bought. Um, but yeah, it works well, it's an, it only puts it out an extra 40 mil or something. Um, these other bracket are available depending on what vehicle you have or what sort of table setup you have. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do that, that part first. And then the next part is uh, attaching it to the van on the sides. Yeah, so, there's it all attached. As you can see, it's a little bit wider than the rear bar, but it's about the same as the rear tires. Should be fine according to law. Um, what's interesting, it seems like they've changed these from PVC in the previous models to like a very hard canvas. So it's interesting to see if that lasts longer and uh, we'll see how that goes as well with time that might actually uh, scratch the crap out of my bumper um, but it's so tight here with the Amarok other cars will probably be better but don't have a lot of space I couldn't turn it around um, So yeah, there's not much, much I could do. That should still be enough space to hitch it on as well. Like that's something I'll have to test in a sec. But yeah, otherwise, looking good. Okay, so we did have to go with the higher option in the end. It was a little bit annoying, means I'll have to remove the bar every time I uh, unhitch the camera. Um, so I can't drive around to that. The cops will. Uh, Went like the number plate being hidden, so I'll either have to get a number plate mounted on the car itself, on the top somewhere, um, which I might do actually, might, might be easier. And uh, and then, so I screwed the first bracket there, so as you can see, it's flush with the side of the caravan. Just put one bolt in there for now, um, just to make sure measured everything correctly but <laughs> it should be good okay there you go all looked up just change so it but yeah it worked out well so it's pretty nice and taut but not loose enough So yeah, I think the hardest part was actually unwrapping it. <laughs> so the lot of shrink wrap and you don't want to use a knife to cut it. Um, yeah, otherwise it sort of just fits. 
So yeah, very happy. Um, I might get an extension, but I'm going to ask him for that. That's pretty just to lift it up even higher because I do recommend that it sits um, even above your bumper, just under your tailgate if possible. Um, so I'll send a picture to them um, with this and then see what they say. Um, it would make sense, like if it's up a little bit higher, it won't rub on the bars at all. Yeah, no, that looks really good. Yeah, so here's it mounted to the car with the sleeves on. Sleeves is really good quality, it's got a little barker strap that pulls them together so it can't get loose. Um, and stop a badge so yeah like I said uh, I'll have to think of a way to mount the dump plate up here or uh, I don't even know if that's legal so I'll have to find out and do a bit of research and see what I can do if anyone has any ideas let me know um, I've seen some people just hang one on the top um, yeah, I'm probably looking for something more permanent than that but we'll see thank you